click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about few examples related to the preparation of condensation polymer and now in this topic we are going to talk about the preparation of Novelac polymer. So now let us understand that is how we can prepare Novelac polymer. So now let's get started. So friends, now in this topic we are going to talk about the preparation of Novelac polymer. So for that we need certain chemicals and those chemicals are nothing but so this is what we are considering a phenol and we have to react it with that is formaldehyde or that could be written as HC double bond OH. So whenever that is a phenol is basically reacted with formaldehyde so therefore we could get a mixture of products and those products among that one of them is I'm just mentioning over here it is here it will be CH2OH. So the name of this compound is basically known as ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol. So this is one of the product that is what we could get. And there is another possibility that is if you talk about the other product, this is what we could get. So here it is OH while here it will be CH2OH and here also there will be CH2OH. So the name of this product that is what we could get is nothing known as that is 2 this is because this is carbon number one this is two three four so therefore we could get that is two comma four dihydroxymethyl phenol or else we could get another product also where we can find that is the both the ortho groups they are basically or the both the ortho hydrogens they are basically substituted by ch2oh group and this is what we could get as a byproduct and this is what we have that is here it is oh here it is ch2oh here also it is ch2oh and here also there is CH2OH. So therefore the product that is what we have got over here is basically known as 2, 4, 6 trihydroxy methyl phenol. So this is the mixture of product that is what we have got over here whenever the phenol is reacted with formaldehyde. But to form Novelac we need this as a monomer. So the name of this monomer as I have uh, given earlier only that is it is known as that is ortho hydroxy that is benzyl alcohol so suppose if we have considered this as a monomer and by doing the polymerization of this product that's what we have got and we could get novelac and this is what i'm going to talk about so now let us understand that one also so therefore what we have to do is we have to consider that is that is ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol as basically as a monomer and suppose if we have considered that it's n moles of monomer and on polymerization of this that is by providing a certain temperature and by using certain kind of initiator as well as catalyst we could get a repeating unit and the repeating unit is what i will write over here in this way so this is what we could get and this is nothing but a kind of a condensation reaction that would take place over here and suppose if i have used another mole of that is ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol so in this case basically we could find that is water it will be removed as a byproduct or as a small product and that is the reason that the product that we could get it will be nothing but a combination of a repeating units and those repeating units are here as i'm mentioning over here which consist of oh ch2 again suppose if another moles of this monomer if i have taken so therefore this oh along with that of this h of the other monomer it will get removed in the form of water and this is what we could get as a main product and that is nothing but a polymer so this is the repeating unit that is what we could get and the overall structure that is what we could get it is nothing but normal like so this is how basically we can prepare Novolac but there is another method also from which we can prepare Novolac and the alternative method is so we have considered that is orthohydroxy benzyl alcohol suppose if we have considered that is n moles of orthohydroxy benzyl alcohol and suppose if we are reacted with n moles of phenol and let me talk about this one that is the both the quantity of both should be the same so in this case basically if the polymerization occurs that also in presence of a certain catalyst as well as by using an initiator so therefore the product that we could get is nothing but we understand that is this oh it will take away 
one of the hydrogen over here and therefore another mole of this molecule it will take away the hydrogen molecule from here and this is what we could get that is OH and this H it will be removed in the form of a water and this is what I'm writing over here as that is water it will get eliminated and the product that is what we could get it will be nothing but it will be OH over here while here this CH2 it will form a linkage between the two phenol groups and this is what we could form basically a linear novolac so this is a polymer and this is what I was discussing about and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood that is how we can prepare novolac and that's it so I hope I will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe and channel thank you so much